university question from fifth module related to zero input limit cycle oscillations it belongs to the may 2019 supplementary examination question number 16a carries a marks of 5 the scheme of evaluation is table formation 3 marks limit cycle 2 marks this type of questions are frequently asking in the university examination comparatively it is a simple problem to solve only thing is it is a iterative method where you have to careful about the conversion from binary to decimal and by decimal to binary so let us solve this problem the given values are y of n equal to q of this one then a equal to 7 by 8 which is equal to 0.875 then x of 0 equal to 3 by 4 which is equal to 0.75 next we can draw the table the table can be drawn in this pattern so first column n second column x of n third column y of n decimal fourth column y of n binary then the quantized y of n in binary then the quantized y of n in decimal when n equal to 0 you can compute y of n as so substituting n equal to 0 we get this one where y of minus 1 equal to 0 which is given in the question then x of 0 equal to 0.75 substituting we get the value as 0.75 so y of n decimal is 0.75 now we are converting this into binary 0.75 into 2 gives 1.5 with one remainder then you have 0.5 into 2 gives 1.0 the one and the remainder zero so the corresponding binary is 1 1 then it is given in the question that the number of bits for including the sign bit so it can be represented in this pattern so this is the quantized form then the corresponding decimal is 0.75 itself next we can compute for n equal to 1 when n equal to 1 y of 1 equal to the value obtained equal to 0.65625 so for n equal to 1 x of n equal to 0 then the corresponding output is 0.6 0.65625 now we can convert it into binary form the corresponding binary is 10101 then it is to be quantized for three bits here so the fourth bit is zero so you can simply discard the bits beyond this three bits so the value will be 0.101 and the corresponding decimal number is 0.625 next when n equal to 0 x of n equal to 0 then y of n can be computed as y of 2 will be equal to 0.875 into 0.625 that is y of 1 the previous quantized value which is 0.546875 so y of n equal to this one now compute the corresponding binary so the corresponding binary is this one now when it is rounding we get the value as 0.100 and the corresponding decimal number is 
five. Next, or n equal to three, so then zero, then y of three equal to y of three equal to point four three seven five. The corresponding binary is point zero one one one. Now rounding we get zero point. So here in the fourth bit is one. This we have it to be added or rounding. So when we add this one, it will become zero zero. It will become one zero zero. And so here continuing the computation, we can see that the same thing will be repeating. So it is enter into a limit cycle. So when n equal to two, the output enters into a limit cycle. Therefore, the system enters into a limit cycle when n equal to two. So this is the final answer. Usually, in this type of problems, the dead band will also be asked for computation. So, or a first order system, the dead band is given by plus or minus half two raised to minus b all divided by one minus modulus of a. Here, b is the number of bits excluding the sign bit. So, in our case, it is three, and a is the coefficient, which is in our case this is point eight seven five. So, if you are substituting, we will be getting half two raised to minus three divided by one minus o n eight seven five which is equal to which is equal to plus or minus zero point five so the limit cycle will oscillate between the values plus five and minus five.